from here you can just see like all the dirt here and I folded I've put those that need to be put on the hangers so this is Jenny's section Do they wash their school uniforms? It's not child labor. It's not child labor. I'm <laughs> giving you life skills. My friend, it's child labor. <laughs> I'm just asking with good reasons. No, no, no. That is the bed. I've uh, just put this is Kelly's bed. And then this is Jenny's bed. To me, yeah. We be high after midnight. Lying under stars in the moonlight. Gotta feel good morning my beautiful souls i hope you're well thank you so much for clicking i am zena washington in case you're new here this is the routine mom channel you are very much welcome to join our community all you have to do is just to click that subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload new videos to my returning subscribers you are awesome you are the best thank you for always coming back to support our content so if you follow you know we moved yesterday to a new house and today it's all about cleaning and still continuing with the organization so we tried to do the much we could between yesterday evening and like night before we slept but today i just want to focus on the cleaning of the house that is uh, mopping wiping you know there's a little bit of dust like because because they had washed the house like a week when we had um earlier so also because of the moving the chairs like the seats you see my off-white seats yeah they got like really really dirty let me just turn my camera and show you yeah you see like the arms of the seat like mostly at the corners and the edges like if you can see this side like super super dirty also these cushions the cushions themselves yeah same as this one like from here you can just see like all the dirt here yeah? so i just want to focus on cleaning the seats and then now um just to wash the house we didn't get to wash it yesterday I just want to mop it and then wipe the stand over there i'm also expecting the uh fundi our tv when we were moving uh, the TV was taken to the fundi because it required some issues. So the guy will be coming to drill over there so that the TV can be mounted over there. And then also when we were moving, uh, we didn't snini. As you can see, my dining table is not here. That's because they decided to sell it to get a new one. So we didn't see the point of like moving with it to this house. And uh, yeah, so that is the mat over there. Ignore those ones. Those are the attachments to the stand. Like you put them in the heavy juice in a car, Vivo Visori, and they, they look good. Ignore the cable stand there. I'll be fixing that. And then uh, wiping here. Then also they will drill a hole for me here to put that deco mirror uh, you've seen in the other house. Then I'll be putting my flowers back. I uh, showed you yesterday night the candle broke when you were moving things around. Luckily, it did not dismantle the candle. And it makes the house smell good even without being lit. You can still smell the scent of this candle. So I'll find for it a, a glass because I do not have a jar <laughs> to put it in. But I'll find a glass, a small glass, and then I'll put it uh, inside so stick around for the cleaning and organization i need to make soap right now i had bought the ingredients uh just before we came so i just want to mix them together to make soap so that i can have uh soap to wash the house the seats the kitchen the bedroom the bathrooms and all that because it's going to take a lot of soap that's why i opted to buy the one the, the liquid soap for mixing because it gives you like 5 kgs at 190 shillings instead of buying 5 kgs of liquid soap you can do the math and see how much 5 kgs or 5 liters of liquid soap cost in the supermarket and if you buy the ingredients to mix so let's get on with it if this is a kind of video please share not leave without subscribing and liking uh, this video so let's get on with it 
So guys, let's make the soap. This is the bucket that I'll be using. It's about three liters. As much as the ingredients give me five liters, I figure out if I do like three liters or four liters, the soap tends to be like really thick. So I'm doing three liters of soap today. So these are my ingredients. Like I mentioned last time in that video, but they have a, an entire video dedicated to how you can DIY your soap at home. So they'll put for you the ingredients in these containers, but they will not label them for you to know like the actual names of the mixtures. So this is everything. In case you haven't watched that video, I'll put it down in the description box so that you can uh, click and uh, see how to do everything together. So me, I found it easy just to put everything together, mix, and then you mix until it, the substance becomes soap. So these are the ingredients. This one looks like honey. The texture of it inside the bottle looks like honey. So you'll just see it when I pour in the container. Then this one, like I mentioned last time, it looks like glue. You know that glue you put for binding shoes? Yeah, the texture of it looks like soap. This is meant to give the soap like some glycerin and sort of scent. Then these ones, I do not remember <laughs> what they are. Uh, this one is for the color. It will give my soap a uh, yellow color. So, and this one will be the one for the form, like it's written Omo. So it will make the soap to form or have form. This one is for the color. I picked yellow this time. And the lastly, this is the one that, uh, the substance that looks like sugar or what's it called? Like Magadi, cause it's very, very coarse. It's really, really coarse. Yeah, so I don't want to touch it because I do not have gloves. She's fine like wine on a Sunday morning or the bank of the afternoon All night she wants what she wants and she's gonna take it even if you don't come through We walk and talk and think we know those things we gonna do What you gonna do? Yeah. What you gonna do? containers just to be making and putting the soap so I'll be pouring them in there yeah but I think these are <laughs> the bottles are way too many but there guys <laughs> I was given a yellow color yellow but this soap looks orange yes like guys are really color blind because the person who sells in that shop is a guy like this is orange in color orange yes, <laughs> mm, yes? no this is not a game you should have told me but here told me i don't know what i mean 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 i don't know what i and just put it. Hmm? So, because, uh, hi, Mom. It will become more yellow. This is egg yellow. Yes. This is so, egg yellow. So, you can make it yellow, baby yellow. What do you want to do? Baby yellow. For me, this is like orange. You can make it like a bottle top. Sure. Yes. Yes. This is like orange, Kabisa. Mom, so, but stop. Because... Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Yeah, yeah. so guys, these are all the bottles that I'll be transferring my soap to the Najwa, the bottles in Mingi. And then we start cleaning. Oh, that's the plan. Are you serious? It kind of looks like orange juice. Single. Mm -hmm. But to put the chemicals. That's why it's, 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 it's turning this color. Mm. Mom, let so me help you with Jenny some. Jenny, I'm looking. Uh, to open the lid. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is my... Excuse me, I don't want to touch in this thing. Not broken, it's still okay. You have to open all of them. There are some right over. Let me take this one. So, it's not all of them. Let let me see Tatasha Wapi because oh. it is not a lot. So, it looks like orange juice. Cindy. Mm. Like orange juice, orange, orange. <laughs> Next, see next. Mom, the bottom, be careful. It's going to mix. I knew it. You have to be careful. Let me show you. Show. Yeah, so guys, we are done. This is the match soap I have made. This for the hands, washing hands on the sink. And this one now will be for cleaning surfaces when I'm washing the bathroom, toilet, and walls. It has formed really well. I like it. And also, it's not like very watery. It's very, it's thick. It's thick enough. It's thick enough, as you can see. And it smells so nice. So the fragrance I chose was bubble gum. So my house will be smelling bubble gum after I'm done cleaning. So guys, that's it. It's super easy. So let's get to cleaning. What you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? Ooh. What you gonna do? To me, yeah. I've been waiting all night for you to come over and blow my mind.
giving my love for free And I'm not So as the seats were drying and also the cushion covers because I'd washed and taken them outside, I decided just to do decluttering and uh, reduce the amount of clothes that I wasn't wearing because like as you can see I avoided so much weight also because of the belly so most of my office clothes I wasn't wearing and I'm um, left with like very few clothes that I was wearing so I just wanted to sort them keep them away also sort the ones that I will donate and also the ones that I would give them Mary Mary like the ones that cannot be given away so this is what I'm doing as we wait for the seats to dry because they don't take that much time because I didn't even put like so much water on them so in like two hours or so two and a half hours to three hours they will be dry and then i'll be putting back their covers and cushions and then i'll be showing you uh the entire living room after cleaning it so let's get on with the decluttering clothes from the closet that is after i finish now washing the house and everything so it's now like around 1 30 lunch time we want to make lunch so i've spent the entire mid morning like i was saying decluttering and arranging clothes that is the most tedious part when <laughs> you are decluttering and also like when you're moving in even the parking is not a problem the problem is when you unpack and now I have to put everything in its place. So I'll show you uh, how the clothes are arranged in the wardrobes. Now, the thing about this house, like there are no drawers. Like yes. the wardrobes have no, no drawers. So there's no place for putting undies. Like, hi. Now I'm wondering, do I go buy those storage ninis that I've seen people showing on Instagram or nini? 
Yes, vital storage, whatever mm. the other name, yes. Because now, but they, it is really inconvenient. Because <laughs> all our undergarments, they are still in the mini suitcases and the bags. Now there's a challenge of storage and it's giving me a headache. I, that's something I think I overlooked. I didn't ask because we, we should have asked and then they would have like added an extra, like a drawer for for all the mini wardrobes. But I will ask the landlady tomorrow if she cannot do that after we've moved in. It means I'll have to either go the Kamukunji way to buy this uh, storage ninis for the undergarments or we build ourselves removable drawers which we can move with after <laughs> we are done staying in this house no. or just buy the storage nini. I don't know. How are you saying the dance thing? No, I'm not saying now. I've said when. Like when the day comes and then we are done staying here. We go with our drawers. Sing them. Mm. Yeah, guys. So I am done. So I was just separating. So over there on that suitcase. Yeah. And those yeah, are my clothes. Like, work clothes. Yes. And all the clothes that cannot fit me anymore. Yes. Uh, including blazers, like office outfits blouse yeah and blouses like trousers everything it's in that big suitcase over there and then this second suitcase over here i have put in clothes that um for donation they're in good quality some have not even worn like like a lot of times like this See, like this fur jacket over here. You only and wore it once. I, well, I bought it for a party, but I think I haven't even worn it like five times. Yeah. So I think it's this good is for your me. First. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good for, for yes, my Yes, it's your first. Not my first. I've worn it a couple of times. Then these ones I'm still deliberating. Yes. All of these ones. And whether I keep them in the box that has my small clothes, because I know. These ones I will I will fit like even after maternity, I will fit. But now um, these ones and the where are the other ones? Oh, the other ones are in the boys' room. The yes. in the nini in the white sacks, in your. Mm. So there are those that I've put aside for mare mare. There no mare mare will only give me plastics. But those ones cannot be like donated. I'm super super exhausted, super tired. I don't even uh, I'll vlog after here. So I want to yes. give the boys lunch and myself. <laughs> then after now we are done eating. Yes. We can go to the to the we or we can if you if you don't if just money is not light, life is for money. That is <laughs> what people say. Yeah, um I need to get a haircut. Yes. Pardon the background noises, so I need Mom. to get a haircut as well oh. uh, because of an event that I'm having, yeah? yes. and I don't feel like I want to wear a wig in the event. So after you're done eating lunch and then like everything is in order, yes, I will quickly dash to the barber shop just to get a haircut, and then Same. I'll come back we, we and get I'll a do. No, you guys are getting once you close. So you have two days until you close. Mm. Yeah. Mom, look at my hair. Yeah, when you close, now I'm not going to close. So I'm back showing you two days to close. Mm. Yeah, I want my hair like trimmed, like really, really, really trimmed. Then now I'll buy the hair dye so that I can come and color my the hair myself. Mom, may I missed mm. you? May I missed your brown hair? Brown hair. Yes. <laughs> Because brown and black are almost the same. Mm -hmm. Imagine me, I don't like that brown color. Why? I just love the cream or white. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, that's it. Like, pardon me, like, I'm super, super exhausted. Yeah. Super, super, super tired. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then, hey, hey I had forgotten. You we have clothes for laundry. Yes. We last time we went to the laundromat pass in Roseville laundromat, right? Mm -hmm. We went there last time, the, the clothes are there, which also means the baby can hear what we're doing right now. <laughs> Guys, like, Wait, right, nowadays yeah. I can't wash clothes, so I've been taking yeah. them to the laundromat. Yeah. So, I think... Yes. I don't know, I'm thinking because there are a lot, so I'm thinking, I don't know, I wait for the boys to close the school, then I need like a daughter once, or... I just nini 
check them as I go because it's just along the way to the barber shop. Um, yes, Mom. I'll decide. Yeah. I'll decide. Yeah. <laughs> By the time we eat lunch, I'll decide because I'm super tired. Yes, I right now. Mm. You're like you want to eat. Mm. Like, like we, we eat. You dash to the barber shop with us, and then you want to come, come with me. Yes. Can you not pretend I'm me? I'm very tired. No, we are not tired. And mom, we have, we have not been taking the all the clothes to the laundromat. I, sometimes I have been washing them. Yeah, I know. So you've been washing your school uniforms. So why do you say that we have been taking them to the laundromat and we have only taken them the clothes, twice? I didn't mention just school uniforms. Okay. I was thinking, I wait mufunge. I do you a favor. <laughs> you do your favor of not washing your uniforms, but they, the boys do help. They wash their school uniforms, so it gives me an easy, easy time. Like yep. the that's not child labor. Actually, you should make your children to become responsible as early as possible. Like when washing clothes, you don't go for sure. You don't go to the river, and then you don't go to the So, guys, let me wrap up here. Yep. Then, like I've said, dash to the Kinyuzi and I'll decide whether I feel like I want to take the clothes to the laundromat. So guys, the house is clean, the seats dried and I put back the cushions. The cushion covers also dried and everything looks uh, neat. So this is the entire house. We have done like a good job just putting everything together in like one and a half days i can see because it's just it has just been marathon because i didn't want to like do like the other times whereby it takes me a week to just settle in a new house so i also put uh, the curtains let me adjust resolution here yeah. so i put the curtains as well and uh, the basket over there now will hold um the curtain holders also then my wi-fi router is over there the guys will be coming on monday to put my wi-fi so that is the stand uh the portraits for the kids so i've wiped it looking neat and clean this is the other seat over here i also love how the cushions blend with the off-white seats then the mat up there but it's due for washing but it will still be there because of the cold the floor is really really cold then my console table over here which i really love this is how i've put the display uh remember these portraits i had them before so i will find a double tip and just find uh where i'll place them and then that is the plant then my deco books over here so i took this glass and put the candle remember the jar of the candle broke then this was for the um, reed diffuser it ended so i've just been filling it with uh, the downy lavender and a bit of uh, water which makes uh, the house smell good this is the other candle that i got a while back it's almost finished really smells nice it's the uh, what's it called blueberry cheesecake scent makes the house smell really really nice then the jar i didn't have time to buy flowers but i'll be getting flowers this week so this jar will have fresh flowers at the beginning of the week this is my room spray also finished there's a little bit if you can see because with this the amber patchouli and amber like a little goes a long way so i just spray a little bit and then mm, the room smells fresh that is my mirror it's already hanged tv uh, not yet brought due to many because you know how fundies are so until the fundi comes that is the display over that side so let me show you the rest of the rooms this is my room the mat it got dirty because uh, it was used to place some of the things on the track so that the sofa sets could not get dirty but this is <laughs> they still got dirty so this needs to be taken for washing but for now i've just placed it there because the floor is really cold 
that is the bed i've just put in the sh beddings that were there so i'm not yet done with this section to arrange that car my side stand over there but that is the bed those are the curtains uh yeah then i've also tried to arrange my clothes the lighting is a bit yeah I was trying to adjust the lighting so this is what i have done i folded i've put those that need to be put on the hangers so just a mixture of the what dresses their jackets coats trench coats over there yeah so on this corner we have the blouses the sweaters jumpers and hoodies those are two-piece outfits just my t-shirts a few dresses that I didn't have hangers for these are just the vests and camisoles my night dresses clean towels scarves and lessos behind there kuna the my tights and also the jeans and they're like three trousers <laughs> that can now fit me so this is my section of the um, of the wardrobe the shoes you've tried to put them down there not yet uh, like pretty pretty well arranged but i'll be getting a shoe rack for them but that's how they've been arranged right now up there the suitcases and one duvet we had to like push it in there yeah so that is the section of my wardrobe i'll not be showing you the other one because uh yeah privacy issues but this is the bathroom and the toilet like my bedroom is on suit so that's the toilet i have a bin over there see the black bin yeah and the toilet brush then over there i've just placed the tissue and the soap dish up there i have um the body scrubs two of them and a facial scrub so a lot needs to be done because i need to like buy those uh, soap holders so that i can have a place to place like all the soaps and shower gels because you know like me i i love fragrances so i love variety in the in the bathroom so let me show you the boys room So when you enter, the first thing you see is their beds. There is a cabin here. I used to have this in my room, but I decided to go with the black ones <laughs> for my room after some time. But uh, the yellow one, we will be spray painting it to blue so that it can just match their themes in this room. So the, the boys are really trying to help me in terms of even making and spreading the bed. They have done a good job. So this is Kelly's bed. And then this is Gianni's bed. What I've done was just to like fold and put the clothes because like I said, that is usually the like tedious task. So this is Gianni's section. Uh, those are his clothes. Uh, those that could go in the hangers, the jackets, the shirts. Yeah, over there, there's a duvet, bed sheets. Remember I said this house does not have drawers. So right now I'm just improvising. Uh, there are undies, socks, handkerchiefs, the small, small towels. Everything is in there. Their ties is in there until I get a storage organizer. Then this is Kelly's section. I've also put everything together. Same as Gianni's. There's a duvet, bed sheets over there. Andies and everything, socks, handkerchiefs over there, uniform, church clothes, more um, home clothes for playing. Yeah, so that's how I've arranged. So down there, I've just I decided to put the stands and then some clothes for the Mare Mare. So the shoes were made too particular, but they have asked for a break, but they will be arranging their shoes tomorrow because they are really tired yeah so that's it for the boys room so this bag contains like all the outfits and clothes that i was decluttering yeah so this bag it's full it's full 
So these are the ones that I will give away for donations. Yeah, so if you know of a charity organization that I can uh, donate this to, do let me know and then we can hook up and then we will see how we can donate. Hey guys, so I am back. Of course, I didn't like leave the house looking disheveled <laughs> and homeless like I was looking before. I did change, as you can see. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm done having my hair shaped and I really like it when it's like this size. I think I've mentioned that like enough times. I'm super confident when it's uh, trimmed like um, to this level. So, and I also see it like looking neat and good for going to the office the only thing is that i've never been comfortable having my hair like in black like short and black i always feel so awkward i do not know why but one day i will try but i really love the white and the cream colors on my hair i feel like it just makes me look extra <laughs> like extra yeah so that is it so just uh, right now i just want to mix the hair dye uh, i usually use the Sobaro thing is it right here let me just show you see i've come with a hair dye where is it oh it's here yeah i buy the Sobaro so i've just bought two packs because also nowadays they've been running out of the shops white yeah, so the color you see on this lady's hair is the color you'll be seeing on my head or you've been seeing on my head and I really, really love it. So it's white. The pack is really 100 bob. And I realized when I buy the ones for 70 bob, these are the chic in your hair, so the hair doesn't even like turn to, to this color. It becomes like another color with a shade of brown, which I do not like. So when you may discover when I buy the 100 bob ones, they are like legit so i just want to do the application really quickly and then i rest like i mentioned earlier me like today i'm feeling fatigued and super tired i don't want even to do anything else after here so i won't even be blog blog <laughs> blogging no. i will no vlog i won't no. i won't film mm -hmm. when i'm doing the application you finish doing any chico yeah yeah i won't be filming doing the application because i think i've done an entire video yes. on how i apply the nini the hair dye i don't want to yes. in this video <laughs> sit down and finish it or uh, how i apply the video so i'll put a card either here or here or even the link in the description box so that you can check if you're interested in knowing how you can diy uh, hair dye or hair color at home so after i do that generally just resting and they won't be doing anything else after here so i think i'll catch you guys tomorrow uh yeah tomorrow because there's a lot <laughs> for tomorrow so guys see you tomorrow